Breaking news today as the New Orleans Sinners beat the fucking shit out of the rest of the league. Fans Woo! are... Go Sinners! Fuck you, Leo's Legion! Woo! <laughs> Fans are randomly celebrating around the world, rejoicing the ongoing oppression as the team rips assholes both on and off the ice. Keeping us up to date in sports, correspondent Tori Biley. Thanks, Aubrey. As you know, the New Orleans Sinners are absolutely shitting on the competition. Earlier, we obtained an exclusive video of Sidney Crosby literally defecating on Tim Thomas's Mercedes, or as he likes to call it, slapping butter from his ass. Unfortunately, that video is now banned from the internet. I guess Timmy can't put that one on Facebook. <laughs> At least he's not pumping tires. <laughs> it's just as ugly as a salad out there, and these Sinners players have been going postal all month long. Earlier today, Sinners spokesperson Thank Brian so Guest had Thank this to so say. Much. Thank you, Bob, CNN, good seeing you. Elizabeth Fox 32, good catching up with you this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at Benson Tower for today's press conference. As you all know, our team has been jacking the beanstalk all over our rivals. Seriously, I was with TJ Oshie earlier this week and he had Chris Letang tied up in his garage. It's no wonder Sissy Chrissy hasn't been playing that much. It has been a one-way Rosham Bosham out there and on behalf of the organization and myself, we are absolutely fucking responsible for this. The New Orleans Sinners completely condone these actions. Unfortunately, this is all the time we have for this morning, and we will not be taking or accepting any other questions at this time. So, y'all can go fuck yourselves. Jesus, brush your teeth, everyone, because those dicks will be inspecting soon. Let's pass the torch on down to our senior sports analyst, the King Lizard himself, Sloan Blevins. Sloan, what do you have to say about those comments? Well, Tori, those were some strong remarks by an even stronger team. They're certainly not afraid to whip out the nutcracker and slam a pear in its jaws. The Sinners offense has consistently proven that they are offensive in every way possible and the fans just can't get enough. And other teams haven't gone on record to say much. And there's obviously some serious disputes among team owners. I caught up with Jefferson Dragons owner Ivan Huey Jr. at the mall last week. Let me see if I can pull up the video. Ah, there we go. Mr. Huey, get the fuck out of my face! <laughs> And as you can see, I think we're going to see a lot more of this kind of aggressive behavior coming from team owners as we head into the playoffs. Couldn't have said it any better myself, Sloan. And now, joining us live, it's New Orleans Sinners owner, Abalam. Hello, are you there? What? We were wondering if you could comment on the enormous recent publicity I'm for busy. the Sinners. Oh, always a pleasure, Abalam. Now, back to you, Aubrey. In other news, some shit happened in Ukraine. And that's all for today, folks. Tune in next time for the latest news and updates. This is Aubrey Alana reporting from Up Yours. <laughs> you better watch out for slow blevins. They don't call him the King Lizard for nothing. Come on, get the fuck out of my face. Seriously, fuck. I'm trying to buy stuff. Shit. Fuck. Brought to you by the New Orleans Sinners. You dumbass.